Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 10, I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mark Curtis. We start with a big win for property owners in and around the zone, which is Phoenix's largest homeless encampment. A judge is now ordering the city of Phoenix to clean up the encampment, including moving tents from streets and sidewalks. The I-team's Erica Stapleton has followed this lawsuit from the very beginning and spent months digging into the costs of this crisis. And Erica, what does this ruling mean for that neighborhood? For the past few hours, my phone has been pinging with reaction from these property owners who have been fighting the city in court since August. And now they have some hope that hopefully things will get better for them and also the people living in the tents. The judge didn't mince words, calling conditions in Phoenix's largest homeless encampment a biohazard and a public nuisance, one that the city is now ordered to clean up. Super happy. Didn't expect it, right? I checked my email, got the email from my lawyer. He said, you won. Carl Freund leases space at 10th Ave in Madison, right in the heart of the encampment known as The Zone. He, along with more than a dozen other property owners, filed a lawsuit against the city in August over conditions in the neighborhood, including trash buildup, human waste, violence, open drug use, and other chaos, claiming the city wasn't doing enough to keep things clean and safe. Meth being smoked, fentanyl being smoked, drug deals, prostitution, uh, physical assaults, you know, property crime, everything you could think of would happen down there. The judge's ruling said the city wasn't doing enough to enforce rules in the zone. One big takeaway from the ruling, all right of ways, defined as streets, alleys, and sidewalks, must be clear of tents. Hundreds of people are currently living in tents lining the streets and curbs in this area. Some counts last year tallied more than 1,000 people living in the zone. The city of Phoenix is 100% responsible for, for the whole situation down here. Before the ruling, the city argued in court that it was addressing concerns in the encampment, like approving funds for additional shelter space and starting an enhanced cleaning pilot program. But residents complained it still wasn't enough. In an email Monday night, a city spokesperson said in part, that the city was reviewing the judge's order and remained committed to addressing the needs of all residents and property owners. Well, in the short term, I really hope that it means it's going to get cleaned up. In the long term, I really genuinely want to see these people get some help. What does that look like? We don't know yet. The judge was clear he wasn't telling the city how to abate the nuisance, only that it must be done. The judge set a bench trial in July where the city will essentially have to provide a progress report on how it's complying with the order. We're in the Alert Center. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.